All right, Toyota 3UR timing chain. We're gonna go ahead and do the timing. So, we've already got it apart. We're just resetting it. Now you'll notice, this is the intake controller for variable valve timing. Got a mark here, a small little dot mark. That's the toughest one to see. On the inside, green line lined up with this line. On the exhaust side, so a lot of different marks. You're gonna go with the single line. You just set them there. From there, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make sure that the cams are lined up right. Right? This one's at 45 degrees from top. This one's three degrees from the top. And we get that information from Toyota TIS. Right here. 45 degrees and three degrees, and this is on the left bank. So once that's all set, we're gonna get our number one chain. Is this number one or two? I forget again. Two. Two or one? Two. two. All right, here's the number two chain. We gotta get our yellow mark to be lined up with that single line first, right there. The next step, we're gonna move them close together by lifting. Gonna go ahead and get that yellow mark with that line, okay? From there, we'll pick them up, keep, keep them separated, bring them over to the engine. Now we're going for that hole there and this hole here to line up with these knock pins, which is a little tricky. We've got the tensioner pinned down with just a simple uh, paper clip. So we'll swing it up. Not once. All right, we're trying to slide it on. A little help. Okay. Now at this point, they might seem engaged, but but they're not. You'll notice the controllers turn, but the cams don't. They're not. They're not on yet. So we're gonna move them around a little. So we feel the pin drop in, and this one, the pin just dropped in. At this point, I can no longer turn the cams. I can no longer turn the controllers because they're locked to the cams. So from there, we're good to go ahead. And in this video, we're not torquing everything to spec. We're just, we're just running them up to show how you do it. Now, if we didn't have those pins locked in, we would have just driven the controller onto the knock pin and damaged the controller permanently, and it wouldn't have been right. It wouldn't need to be replaced. So, from there, we go to our next steps. Our number one chain. We'll refer again to service information. A little lower. Number one chain right side, but that's wrong. We're on the left side from the perspective of the transmission. Okay. Still the right side. Okay, left side. We got a couple marks. One you can see, tiny dot. Second one, dot on the crankshaft. So we got, we're gonna find those marks. First mark, dot right here. Someone at the factory put an orange mark at it, but this tiny dot right there is what we're looking for. So we're gonna keep that in mind. We're gonna look for the other dot, which is here. Tough to see, but right there. Okay, so we're gonna line that up. Now, if you have a doubt, go ahead and slide this out and you'll see inside there's a second dot on the opposite sprocket right there. And so when we go to do that, we're going to make sure we're on the right dot and slide it in. So from there, we'll swing this chain on, keep it kind of in the ballpark of the cam. Go ahead for that mark, which is right there. You go ahead and try to get that angle from that dot right to the orange. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Straight in, that's definitely our dot. It'd probably help to make a small mark if you want to. From there, we come up to the cam. Now, we already had it halfway on here, but we're gonna come up to the cam, and we're gonna go for that dot right there. 
I'm going to go ahead and sneak our chain onto there. Right onto that spot. And then we'll kind of equalize the chain so it's a little bit loose on both sides. And then the next step is going to be putting the guide and the tensioner on. Right here. Here's one. Yeah, we'll just have to tweak that guy a little bit. Here is the second one. So we're gonna pull a little bit, a little bit more slack at that one. A little bit of slack right there. Bring this guy in. All right, got that gun with a 12. No, they're in. I got it. We're going to go ahead and just run these in. Of course, it'd be torque to spec after the fact. And from there, will you give me one white zip tack? Okay, what I would recommend is running a zip tie through and to the back and zipping it up. I'm going to take the tension out with the zip tie so it's tight. From there you can see not quite tight enough so we're going to try to get a little bit more. Yeah, that's all the zip tie will do. From there you've got to do the tensioner. Ricky's got. You got a pin? True. Okay. So we'll pull our paper clip from this one we use on the second tensioner. Needle nose? Oh, this guy. Right here. Okay. We're gonna sneak that paper clip out. There it goes. You're right, Augie? Don't see it. Good thing you ain't safe to press it on. Hold. And this guy too. Alright, so we've got the tensioner released right here. We squeezed it down by releasing it with this little ratchet. Now we're going to drop this pin in here. It should be strong enough to hold it, just barely. So from there, we're going to move this over. And Augie, you're going to hit him with the gun, okay? We're just going to buzz those down. Good. Good. Now from this point, we'll go ahead and we'll pull our pin. That'll help keep it tight. Now from there, if we want to, we'll go ahead, we'll verify the orange mark with the dot. And it's in line. We'll verify the marks here. Now you can't see the dot anymore, but you can notice there's a little indent here that's painted red. Our yellow marks are still good on the back side. And you can notice with the single line and with the orange line, uh, with the green line. Now from here, to verify the timing, we'd have to turn this engine over 28 times, which we can do, but we're not going to do, and everything will still be in time. Once we move this off, nothing will appear to be in time, although we just checked it. We've got it zip tied so it can't jump time. It's in time. You do the same thing on the other side, although the angles are slightly different. This is the procedure.